Hi everybody, I'm Anna and this is my trusty sidekick Mookie. Today I'm doing a follow-up from my Hoka Bondi 7 wear test. If you're interested in hearing about how they wore, I will link that video down below. But just to catch everyone up, I returned the shoes and I'm gonna let you know how that experience was. So basically I contacted customer service via live chat and I chatted to them and I told them about my shoes and said that they had like worn out, like they weren't wearable, even though I had just purchased them like maybe three months ago. And they said, okay, we're gonna email you a USPS slip you need to mail them back and then after mailing them back it'll take like between one and ten business days to get refunded they emailed me that slip and the next day april 20th in fact i took it to usps which is a pain like nobody really likes going to the post office and it's basically everyone's least favorite errand but in in order to get almost $200 back, I needed to do this. So I really made it a priority and that was a good thing. I contacted customer service and basically they refunded me the money on the 20th. So I am pretty sure that as soon as their packing slip gets a tracking number, they refund your account, which makes a lot of sense to me because I don't know why they would need to like get the box and like process it on the other end and then refund you. But I did have to like check my credit cards because they don't email to let you know that you've been refunded. I kind of wanted to follow up on all these things and contact their end because I'm reporting back on how this return process goes. They also have Hoka's at some like boutique running stores and at Nordstrom, and they cost the same from Hoka as they would at any of these other stores that are like certified resellers. I honestly felt like the return process was a pain, even though I'm glad they had it. It would be so much easier to buy it from like a sports basement or Nordstrom or a retailer where you can just take the shoes and get refunded at the same time and they handle the warranty. The other thing is that with Hoka, you don't get rewards points. Like as far as I know, you don't get any points for how much money or how many things you buy there. Whereas at Nordstrom's, you would get points on a $200 purchase which is pretty good. I think a lot of like sports, sport basement type stores also have like membership or rewards programs, REI. They take stuff back, but they have like these weird things. Like for example, like at Christmas, they kind of got like a lot out of me. I made a bunch of purchases there and then some of the things got returned because they're Christmas gifts. The other person just wanted something different. They charge you like 10% to return it to them. So since like a lot of those things that you get there are at least a hundred dollars, they make like 10, $20 off the purchase. And that's because like it was returned in a separate year, but it's really, it was returned like a week later after New Year's, which to me is jinky. But you know, there are like perfectly reputable stores that to me don't have the most straightforward or fair return policies. And especially when it comes to like shoes, most stores do not take shoes back. Like if you have worn them one time, and they're horrendously uncomfortable, too bad for you, so sad. I think it's super important to take return policies into concern when you're trying to buy things in a smart way or build a wardrobe. If it's a sales item and it was super cheap and it doesn't work out, then like whatever. But a lot of things that are quality cost more money and they cost it for a reason and that's fine. But like if if you don't wear it or you don't like it or it ends up being kind of defective, you want to be able to return it. I still recommend Hoka. I am considering buying another pair of shoes from them. If you want me to open or unbox that on my channel, definitely give this video a like. I would buy these shoes from Hoka again if I didn't live near a licensed retailer for them. But since I do in the future, I would definitely just buy these shoes from Nordstrom's 
and earn the points and then if they happen to wear out again I can return them to the store and not have to go to USPS but I still really like these shoes I recommend them I think they're a legit company and they're a totally legit running shoe like they're so so comfortable so basically that's just me sharing my return experience it was fine and I hope that this helps you because again I do really think return policies are important especially on larger purchases and like comment subscribe let me know what you thought if you liked the video have a great day bye